I lost 85 kilograms and went from this to this. And today we're going to talk about how I did it and how you can do it too. So before we can talk about how I lost the weight, we need to talk about how I gained it. I was an extremely unhealthy child and throughout the years I would just be eating mindless shit all the time. I'd be eating the worst foods for me, but the reality is I was a kid. I didn't really know all that much better. However, when I turned old enough to know what I was doing, I was still doing the wrong things. I was a lazy piece of shit and I was playing far too many games. In fact, I actually had a gaming YouTube channel and it just compounded and got worse and worse and worse until one day I sat there and I looked at some photos from our trip to Hawaii and I was just like, man, I actually look really bad. I want to make a change. Unfortunately, what you see now is not what happened on my first go. There were about a million attempts in between. It first started for me in 2010 when I was fresh out of high school and wanted to lose weight. So when I first decided I wanted to lose weight, the first thing that I decided to do was go onto the internet and type, how do I lose weight? Put me onto the bodybuilding misc forums, which is an absolute cesspool. It always has been and always will be, but you know, met some really good people through it. And the advice I was given was just shit advice. And to be fair, all of the advice back then was shit. The only advice you would get on the internet was eat chicken and broccoli or fish and broccoli. And that was it. I actually did really well and lost like 50 kilograms doing that. And I went down to about 110, but it was so unsustainable that I pretty much gained everything back. And by 2017, when I was at my heaviest, I was 165 again and I needed to start from scratch. So to be honest, what actually gave me motivation to lose weight for the final time, I guess, was <laughs> David Goggins. I don't know how I stumbled upon him, but I just watched a YouTube video and I was like, that's the shit. I'm going to do that. So I got up the next day and I went for a walk at 5 a.m. I put his audio book on can't hurt me and I never stopped. So let's talk about the walking first of all. Walking is something that I include in my day every single day without doubt, a minimum of 15,000 steps. Now I'm not saying you need to go out there and do 15,000 steps, it can be quite extreme. It's about two hours worth of walking, but getting any steps in is gonna be better than no steps. Going for a 10,000 step walk is like 800 calories. Over the course of a year, that could work out to be like 16 kilograms of fat, which is absolutely massive. Grab yourself an audio book, pop it on, go for a walk and get your steps up. Aim for a minimum of 10,000 and it's gonna set you on the right path to success. The next thing that was super instrumental was my strength training. I have been doing bodybuilder style training for a very long time, five day splits. It, again, you don't need to be as hardcore as I am, but it does help to go to the gym at least three times a week. It doesn't have to be bodybuilder style stuff. You could do whatever you like. If you like doing CrossFit, do that. If you like doing cardio, do that. If you like doing jujitsu, do that shit. Do whatever you are going to enjoy because the best exercise is the exercise that you are going to stick to. Now the stuff that I was doing was pretty much just your standard bro split. Monday, we do back. Tuesday, we do chest. Wednesday's arms, Thursday's legs, and Friday is shoulders. Doing this allows me to separate my muscles throughout the week so that I'm not feeling fatigued, that I'm not feeling sore. Yeah, it means I train probably more than everyone else, but it also means that I get really good results without feeling fatigued pretty much all the time. Now, as a disclaimer, while I do bodybuilding style stuff, I am not a bodybuilder. I am clearly not a bodybuilder. I don't take steroids, none of that. Just want to clear that up while we're on the topic. So let's talk about my diet. And a lot of people will know that the carnivore diet was quite instrumental in a lot of my weight loss. But what people don't know is that for a good portion, probably 80% of the time, I've just been following a standard 40, 40, 20 diet eating good nutritious food. The beauty of the internet now is that there is such good information available. You can make low calorie meals that taste amazing with a lot of volume. Uh, there's a channel called Josh Cordes. 
He has some really great recipes. I use those to lose like 40 kilos before I swap to carnivore. And things like that are just super exciting foods that you can rotate day in, day out, and never get bored of. For a really good portion of my journey, I was following the carnivore diet with an if it fits in your macros approach. Now, just because you're carnivore doesn't mean that you have to ignore science and that you have to think there's no calories and you don't have to hit protein targets. If you want to be optimal and you want to get the best results, it's a good idea to worry about these things. I was eating basically a charcoal chicken for lunch and rump and eggs for dinner. Pretty simple in that regard. Now, when I was on my standard diet, I'd be eating things like Josh Cordes's um, burrito bowl. That was a really nice one. I have fish, tuna, ceviche. I have different blends of different good nutritious vegetables and make sure that they fit in my macros. Now, if you're someone who's new and just starting out, what you need to do, first of all, is go to tdeecalculator.net and work out how many calories you need to consume. After you've done that, you can start playing around with recipes. Go online and type healthy recipes. Buy Coach Greg's cookbook. There are many great recipes available. Eat from my freaking cookbook. So if you're someone who has a significant amount of weight to lose, and I'm talking like 20, 30, 40, 50 kilos, there are a couple things that you need to know. The first thing you need to know is that the journey is not going to be linear. Some days you'll be heavier. Some days you'll be lighter. Some weeks you'll gain weight. Some weeks you'll lose weight. You can't be rash and get demotivated or quit the diet when you don't have a result. You need to remember you didn't gain all of your weight overnight, so don't expect to lose it overnight. The next suggestion I have for you is be logical and be rational. I had a tendency during my weight loss journey where if I'd go out and I'd eat a massive meal one night, I'd wake up the next morning and say, what's the point of walking or what's the point of doing this or what's the point of going to the gym? But the reality is you're going to have slip ups. You're going to have family events. You're going to have holidays. You need to just get back on the horse no matter how many times you slip up. The guy who's lost 80 kilograms, I know how demotivating it can be when you look in the mirror every day and don't see what you want. But if you day after day get up and just keep doing your shit, going to the gym, walking, eating well, eventually you will look in the mirror and see the person that you like. I know how mentally hard it is to not see any changes, especially when you're super big, but you will get there if you stick to it. And if you don't, you're never going to get there and you're still going to hate the person you see in the mirror. The final thing that I have to say to you guys is that you should not be afraid of the gym. So many bigger people are afraid that they're going to get judged when they go to the gym. But the reality is everyone in the gym wants to see you do well. Every single time I go to the gym and I see a dude who's 150 or 160 kilos, I'm not thinking, oh, look at that fat dude. I'm thinking... Good on you. Well fucking done for going out there and getting shit done. We are all on your side. No one is out there to get you. Do not feel shy of the gym. Go in there and don't be afraid of being the weakest person. I pride myself on being the weakest person in the gym because the weakest person will generally have the best form and get the best results. So that was my story of how I lost weight. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you would please subscribe and stick around for content that is coming. I have some really great stuff planned that's gonna help you hit whatever goal you may be trying to hit, whether it's to lose weight or whether it's to gain muscle. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.